tsunami warning has tsunami been issued. Right now we we checking in right now the boss talk 21 episode 7 right now i got a special guest you know homegrown you know straight from the soil right here you know he's a he's a brother he's a father most important he's a multi-platinum producer got my artist my brother Weezy. Weezy what's, up, kid? what's going on a long time coming got a lot to sure. talk about you know what sure. i'm saying let's let's take it back to the essence of everything like Telling people like originally where you from, you know, so for the listeners I'm from who don't know. Pittsburgh, Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what got you in the What got you in the music? Uh, producing. Producing. Well, well, nah, look, look. We're gonna take it back to what they don't know. Like he was a rap. You were rapping first. Like, yeah, I was rapping first. You were rapping first. Well, you know what I'm saying? I, I just fell in love with just like making sounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause. You know, my brother, he was rapping. Y'all know him as Fly Guy Tunnel. And uh, he had this program called Fruity Loop or whatever. And uh, cause you know, he needed beats to rap. Right, right. So he started making his own beats, but he stopped. And I picked up the program, you know what I'm saying? So when, when I picked up the program, I really just, I never, I never put it down. So. That's hard. You know That's right. hard. Uh, so you started out with Fruity Loops, and then did you ever see it like starting? Did you ever like? Did you know at that point when you picked it up, did you knew the direction you were going? At first, you just started playing with. Nah, I didn't. You didn't. Cause I suck. Yeah. But I made a. I just made a five beat that he made a song to, and it just made it made it make sense. Right. At the time, so. And they kept going. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just kept it going. So like when you when you first got into it, how did you how did you learn the marketing of it? Like okay, did you okay? So when you when you found out that when did when did you know that you was good at it? When did you actually know like okay, I got me something? Um, uh, maybe like my first my first song that I sent out, first beat that I sent out. Who was it? T. Uh, Roscoe. That nah, it wasn't Roscoe. No, no, Rich no. Kids. Rich Kids. Rich Kids. I already turned up. I already turned up. I had one, and that one you knew right then. When they, when they really, when they hit me back and said they recorded the song. Right. Right. Like, right. Man, they really used the beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. So it just gave me motivation. Yeah. To just like do more. So when at, at one point, what did you? When did you? St okay. So after after that. What was your, what did you consider out of all the records? Cause you got a lot of hits. If you can't remember, what do you feel like what was your first hit? Like this was my first hit. Like first even if, it, even if like, like, not chart wise, but like even in the street wise, did you know like they bumping this in the streets like this turn, like I, I got a hit. I already turned up. I already turned up. Rich kids. Yeah, rich kids. Okay. That's when I really like felt, I felt the love like yeah, being a producer. Yeah. Cause like, we went to a party, they actually performed it. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's when I really just felt the love of it. Right, and then? Seeing, seeing them really perform with my art. So it just made, it just gave me that, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, different feeling. Sure. Right. But then I see you, I see you working with, in the beginning stages, I seen you working with Shad a lot. Yep, so started working with Shad. And then that 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 kind of how, how y'all really how, how the relationship kind of form and you're like where y'all relationship how y'all stand there? Um, it formed because you know like when I when I graduated when when I got out of high school I went straight to Atlanta. So you know what I'm saying? That's what I really I already my second home. So, but um, me and Sean, we you know we we formed a relationship because you know. We was working after Rich Kid, he kept kept his music going, so it was just easy for us to form a relationship right. because the, the relationship we already had from, because he really brought me to, you know what I'm saying? I sent the music to Sean, oh, okay. you know what I'm okay. saying? So, right. and he really got down, he was got down working on his solo project. 
right. stemming from rich kids. So like they just kept it going. Just kept it kept it moving. Okay. Like, yeah, me and Shaw. Till still to this day we still, still my man. Is. Right, for sure. Uh, for sure. Uh, what? So so what's up what's up in the, like what's the necessity for you to have like when you when you in the studio you you cooking up and you working like what what's a what's a must have for Weezy? Mm-hmm. Candles. I like candles. Yeah, yeah. Candy. Candy. I like and I like the and I like to like like a movie. A movie. I might put it on mute. Like a good movie. I might just look at it and make music around it like. For real, yeah. that crazy. I ain't never heard no process like that. Yeah. So like, what keep you like basically like, you got so many hits. Like, what keep you hungry to keep going? Like, what what keeps you hungry? Cause you got so many hits. Like, what still keep you grinding? Cause some people who who will probably be with you at there probably be like, man, I done done everything. I ain't. But what keep you to keep going? Like, cause every time it's like Weezy don't miss. Like. At this point, people don't even like. It ain't, they ain't even surprised no more. It's just like that weezy, like. Yeah. Uh, it's his. Mm, I say just like, just hand, just the feedback from the fans, like, you know what I'm saying? Just like, cause you know we already know it's gonna go up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not to even be cocky. It's just like, <clears throat> I just like the feedback, like from the fans. And, shit. and I love just coming in the room that day and seeing my little brother cook up. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I seen that I you. I see myself. And like, him, baby. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, so. So, like, you, you, uh, you, so you, you grabbing pretty much like a group, you form your own, like, your own team of producers yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it's a number board. It's a number board. So, we can't, are we already hearing a little bit of them on the radio? Like, you know, or. Yeah, gradually, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they might pop up on, like, different projects, like, you know what I'm saying? But we, we, we gradually pushing them out. Right, right. Pushing them. Uh, can we hear, are we gonna be able to hear a little bit of them when the album drop? Like, when you, whenever you do decide to do an album, are we gonna hear a little bit of the Tsunami Boys on the album? Oh yeah, for sure, for fact. Okay. For fact. Okay. So, what, when your process, which one do you like better? Just cooking up, like, by yourself solo, or do you like when you with the artist and you cooking up? Artists, like it would because like I can like they can they can like tell me what they like and what they don't like. Cause some artists they might like a beat, but they might they might not like a certain sound. So they might be like take this sound and take this sound. You know what I'm saying? So when I work with an artist, it might be just all the way perfect for them, for they like. For 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 the listeners, who are some of the the um, artists that you work with that you you feel like you got the great chemistry with? You know that you know like it's it's, it's simple like man it, we do hits in our sleep like we just doing we making music it's, it's already it's just uh, 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 okay because it's like just hanging out with y'all when it right. comes like it ain't just like it don't, don't feel like work, work it don't feel like work at all it's just it's just like it's, it's just, just like, like it's just something that we yeah right it's family like you just rocking out you uh come up with the hit uh, with uh with future uh chickens. What was that process like? Did you work in the studio with him or did you kinda like send it send him like a little package? Yeah, I worked on that with him. Worked on that with him. So it was just like a day. We was just like just kicking it. Just pulled up that beat. I ain't even making it from scratch, it was something that I already had. You know what I'm saying? So Okay, yeah, that's fine. So when it we know we just saw everybody just seeing you on the double XL magazine, the freshman, you know, which is we don't feel like you know freshmen or whatever. They just not putting the recognition on it. But how did how did that feel knowing from coming from like when we when we come from and we sitting up in the room and we getting out of school, you know what I'm saying? We leaving school early. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we, we grab the magazine. Yeah, I mean it's a good feeling, bro, like because like, a nigga cut pages out of these and put them on the wall. Mm-hmm. So it was a and just, wonderful but, but but just check this out though. You got kids now. It's like a little wheezy. That we don't even know yet, right? And they taking yo, they taking Weezy pictures and putting them on the wall. Yeah. Like that's a different feeling. Different. You know what I'm saying? Especially coming from where we come from. Yeah. Like we could, so, like I, I said it the other day on social media. Like you knew you, in your mind, like when you, when we, when we me and T were getting out of uh, school and we come home, me and T we in the closet, we we laughing, joking, but T doing music, and we in the room in the other room, 
he with a piano in the hand, he cooking music. We ain't think I couldn't even see it this far. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't even see it this far. But you always knew you had a vision. Like you knew what you wanted to do. You knew where you were going. You knew the direction you were going, and it just manifested into the right, the right spot. And that's that's good. But what do you, what? Let me see. What game do you got for like a young Weezy that's coming up and they watching this and they want to know like, you know, get on some strong advice like what they need to do to you know to stay sane and to keep doing music and you know to be successful in this. Man, keep working like no matter like how it really like fit like if you feel like it ain't working out, it's gonna work out. Just keep going like you know what I'm saying like it'll work out. Just keep working like, no matter what. Make it your passion. When you see a lot of um, producers, um, I know it's different ways that people get on these days or whatnot. But like, do you um, like? Do you feel like you know? A lot of times you see a lot of producers put their beats on YouTube. Do you think those those methods still work to this day, or you think you know it could be other ways that they could? Yeah, do? because it's artists to this day still looking yeah. for different beats on YouTube. On YouTube, I know this one artist. He. I ain't gonna just put them out there, but he right. still use YouTube to, for beats. Or and they might write, they might some people might write a whole song to a beat. It might, you know what I'm saying? Might not use the beat for that song, but they'll write a song to the beat. You still get a writer credit, and you'll just be like, man, this ain't even my beat, but you still getting credit because the man that formed the whole song, right, to the beat. That's hard. And he'll just reach out and just give you real credit. Like it never stopped though. YouTube, you never know though. Yeah, the way the way the internet going, you will never know. Yeah, yeah. Um, what um, have you ever worked? You ain't gotta say their name, but have you ever worked with an artist that it never just clicked? Like you always working, but it never was connecting. Like it just ain't gonna work. Yeah. Do it happen a lot, or it's just? Nah, nah, not not that much. But if it's like, if it's not organic. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like most of the hits I got is organic. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause like you know, I'm down to earth, and I and I feel like sometimes when I work, it don't really feel like work, cause it just right. come it's, out. Right. It's my passion, so I'm quick to turn work into like a hobby, like a hobby, like something I love to do. So what what do you what do you see yourself feel like ten years from now like because some like some people they might feel like you're a vet already but then you got some people who've been doing it for longer than you they probably feel like oh, he you know he's still up under us or he a rookie or whatnot what do you see yourself what do you see Weezy Weezy out of here the brand tsunami boys the brand the, everything like what do you see that in from the next like five or ten years if you can even you know if you can see it there for I, I see myself like it just being exact just coaching people coaching the younger cats into what what I am. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Do you uh so tell us about your downtime, like when you away from music, like what do Weezy like to do on his downtime when he's not doing music? Like I like to shop. Like I like art, I collect art. Um, what got you into collecting art? Like how that come Well, about? I was drawing first, so you know, I was in honors art and school and shit so I've been that's really like that was like my first love art drawing but then like now that I can actually afford to buy the shit that I like it's just like you know collect, what I'm like collect the I collect right. so in my dance I collect you know my different pieces shop I like clothes I like I like putting that shit on Right, right. So <laughs> when it come to when it comes to the artists these days and the, you know, do you feel like when rappers they coming up, do you feel like jewelry is like something they must have to like kinda bring out the rapper image or whatnot, or it's not really? Um Yeah, I mean, but don't go broke on it though. Like, right, you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah, jewelry is like, you know, it's material you know, it's material. But like as a rapper, yeah, you gonna wanna shine, like, you right, know what I'm saying? Right. Me, I just like, you know, I feel like it's art. I feel like jewelry is art, like the eyeball, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, expensive art. Yeah, <laughs> expensive art, sure. Yeah, so. Do you ever, um, do you ever uh, think you'll be signing an artist to your, to your label, like, as far as rapping? I know you got, you know, bro, we got, you know, we got talent and stuff. 
but you, you ever feel like you you gonna grab some other artists and just form a label, or you feel like that that side of it you really don't want to deal with? Like, tell me a little bit. Yeah, 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 I feel like that's probably what I should say. But like in, in years coming, I do see myself signing artists. But right now, I'm just like focus on like talent and like the younger producers. Really. The younger producers just form your. Trying to like have my hand that full with like just a whole bunch of artists and then like. You know what I'm saying? Take my time with it. For real, for real. Do you feel like sometimes artists can be a little too demanding? Like, is it like a lot of attitude and ego dealing with artists sometimes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of ego. A lot of but ego. But that would come with just being like a brand as a rapper. Like coming up, like the young hungry Weezy, have you, and we ain't got to sit in there, have you ever had somebody who tried to pop it on you like, why they try to like pop it on me or whatever? When I'm coming up, I'm trying Not to really, because like I kind of like intimidate a lot of rappers with the beats, because they might like the the beats so much, but like really can't might come to a, a beat block or a, like a writer's block, and they can't even think of a song. So I, I kind of intimidate them with just the beat itself. So and when you when you working with other producers, um. Name some other producers who you feel like you you vibe good with, like it's really organic. Like you, if you working with them, it's kind of easy, like it come natural. Mm -hmm. I say Turbo, run that back Turbo, Southside, mm -hmm. Metro, Tars, my little brother, Baby Way, you know. Okay. Um, what you think out of all your records you have? Which one did you? Do you have a, a favorite? Out of, out of all the records you have, do you have a favorite? Yeah, hot, hot. Yeah, favorite. Record. Do you ever? I get, made that completely yeah. just like by myself. And she did like four, five times platinum. Is it ever a time do you get tired of hearing your own beat? Like, even though it's it's, it's like. It's your art, but you know sometimes you can hear a song on the radio. You be like, man, I'm tired of hearing a song on the radio, even though it's your beat. Have you ever been like to that point? Like, man, I'm tired of hearing. Mm, nah, not really. Cause it's like it's my craft, so I ain't really. I ain't, ain't really burnt that up never. Tired of hearing it, but shit pay. Yeah, that's so good. I'm never okay. get tired of hearing. We finna get ready to wrap it up, Boss Talk 21. We got Weezy. Weezy, you got anything you want to say to anybody But we get up out of here? Well, now, you know, shout out to you, you young boss. You need some of this shit, right? That is drip. I'm gonna send it to you. Make sure you get it. We checking out Boss Talk 21.